Good morning guys! For today's video, I was thinking I could just show you guys and talk to you about my favorite winter meals. It's getting cold out there, it's been raining and dark and disgusting. Horrible for both the mental health and for wanting to eat crap all the time. <laughs> so here are my favorite things to eat in the winter. First things first, for drinks, I love a good tea. I got the David's Tea Advent Calendar and I'm not really going every day and having the tea. Uh, I'm just kind of having one whenever I want. And the little pouches have enough for two servings, so you also don't have to use the whole thing in one day. It's a really great, I don't know, I guess thing to get you feeling festive and Christmassy, because all the teas are so good and just taste like Christmas. Another hot drink that I like to have, I mean, I do drink a lot of Starbucks in the winter, <laughs> or all year. <laughs> Starbucks costs a lot of money, so it's not like I can have it every day. I love me a good hot Ovaltine. I get my lactose-free milk, heat it up for a minute, put some Ovaltine in, and then heat it up for another 30 seconds, and it gets this like nice, almost like foam on top, and it's just so chocolatey and good. And for those of you who don't know, Ovaltine is really good for you. It has lots of like vitamins and minerals and stuff. And that leads me into my next thing, which is breakfast. Today I have made cream of wheat and Ovaltine. Cream of wheat is basically like porridge, but I make it a little different. You're supposed to make it with with water, I make it with milk, and I put Ovaltine in it. I put Ovaltine in the hot milk before I put the cream of wheat in. I make it very thin, almost like soupy, so that it's kind of like a chocolatey breakfast soup. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just show you guys. My table is a mess, okay? I know. But this is the cream of wheat and Ovaltine. I know it looks disgusting. Ew, the skin. Okay, no, but the skin is the best part. But it's basically, like, it's so hard to describe, but I get the chocolate Ovaltine because it has more vitamins in it than the normal Ovaltine. Kind of weird if you think about it because it has chocolate in it. So it does have more sugar, but it also just has that chocolate flavor that's so nice. <laughs> so that's my favorite, like, hot breakfast. Of course, the usual, like, lunch, dinner type of thing would be soup for winter if you want something like warm and hearty. I really love a tomato soup or a chicken noodle soup. I wanna try experimenting with more soups because I usually just buy like the canned ones from Campbell's. I wanna try making my own soup. I really wanna make like a vegetable soup with like a lot of potatoes in it and like a chicken stock and then blend it up in the micro, I mean the microwave. <laughs> blend it up in the blender to make it kind of like thick and yummy. I also wanna try making more soups with pasta. I feel like that would be good. My favorite, my absolute favorite dinner to have in the winter is cheese fondue. I'm half Swiss, so that side of me is like cheese. <laughs> There's two traditional Swiss meals that have cheese that are amazing in the winter. The first is cheese fondue, where you just basically melt a whole bunch of cheese and you dip bread in it and it tastes like wine and garlic and goodness. I typically do Gruyere and Emmental. Gig actually has a cooking video. Um, I'll link it in the eye for you guys so you guys can check it out. The other dish is called raclette and you get raclette cheese. Um, the only thing that I have to say about the type of cheese is make sure you get the Swiss or German one instead of the French one because I find the French one doesn't really taste like anything. Um, Whole Foods has some good raclette cheese, but you don't get very much for your money. But basically what raclette is, you have this little grill and they have I don't know what they're called. Like little serving things that you put the cheese on and you put it inside the grill and it melts the cheese. And then you mash up some potatoes and you like lay the melted cheese over top of the potatoes. And then you have a whole bunch of vegetables. Pickled vegetables are usually the best. So pickles or like pickled onions. Um, a lot of the grills have like a top layer to it that's hot and you can kind of like sear some mushrooms or any type of vegetable you want on there. I know that's really popular. I don't really eat vegetables so I usually just stick to to the potatoes and cheese and pickles. This meal seriously is one of those meals where you cannot stop eating it. You eat until you like hit this brick wall and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> and then you're in a food coma for like three days afterwards and you just keep farting. That's how you know it's the best meal. <laughs> a good winter dessert is pumpkin pie. I have this weird obsession with pumpkin pie. I will go buy one from Safeway and eat the whole thing for dinner. <laughs> Not so much anymore, but when Gig was living in LA and I had free control of whatever I ate because we didn't have to plan it for two people, I would just buy a pumpkin pie and eat the whole thing. It's disgusting and it made me feel sick, but God, I loved it. Pumpkin pie is like my comfort food. The other thing that's pretty obvious is baking cookies. Baking cookies is so nice to do at this time of the year because you also heat up your apartment with the oven on. <laughs> and then you get that nice warm cookie at the end too. Gosh, I love winter. But not the weather, the weather kind of sucks. 
especially now in Vancouver, it's just really cloudy and rainy and dark and there's no snow. If it snowed, I'd be so happy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know what your favorite winter meals are. Also, let me know what kind of soups you guys like because I need some new ideas. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas. If you're enjoying it, then please subscribe. I've created a Vlogmas playlist, so if you're missing any videos, you can head over to that playlist and check them all out. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.